Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. And hello, dealer. Again you face me. Again you are a fool. It has been too long since I have heard that voice. And hopefully for the last time. So welcome back to Hand of Fate. Oh my god, so much has changed since the last time we played this game. They have added three new pieces of DLC now. Uh, let me see here. I've got it written down. We have the Winter's Hunt, the White Council, and the Halls of the Goblin King are now in our grasp. And there were three new pieces of DLC that, of course, Until added new cards and new fashion. encounters for us to find to and new weapons no for us to get. But first, we have to add them in. So let's take a look at our deck here. Uh, da -da 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 all this stuff should still be really good because I don't think I really changed anything over time. But let's see. All of our weapons that we had in here before are still in here, right? Yep, Thunderstrike, Undead Bane, the Kraken's Claw. I love that fucking thing. Um, how did Fortune's Breath get back in there? Ooh, I don't know what that does yet, but that's okay because we can take out Fortune's Breath, put that in, and we're good to go. Um, I kind of want Mithril in there. So let's take out, grow stronger with every blow you sustain. So let's take that away and put back in Mithril. There's just standard heavy armor. Or the wilderness armor. Ooh. Yeah, I kind of like that because then that encourages you to not get hit at all as opposed to, well, getting stronger as you get hit. Um, I feel like we definitely need the Hermes helm in there. That can go away. Wait, what does that do? Any healing that we receive? No. Uh, no, we're good there. Because either we'll get the Hearn's Helm or the Kraken's Helm. And we'll be pretty good that way. Uh, we don't need those. Those two can go away. Because I would rather have... I would rather have... I would rather have... God damn it, where am I? I thought I had the Mercenary Contract. What does the Fold of Steel do? I don't know what that does. I guess I can find out. And then my rings. The ring of peace, that's a new one. The ring of reward is also new. The ring of poverty. If the player sells this ring, they receive 50 gold for every blessing they possess. Wow. That won't do us anything in this one because, well, we, you know, won't be able to get blessings. But okay. So all of those are in there. Our equipment deck is good to go. Let's check our encounters deck. So here we are, the White Council, the Song of the Minotaur, and Sunken Treasure. That's new. Hmm. I wonder if that's part of the uh, Kraken. Well, no, if it was part of the Kraken quest, then it would give us, or it would have the little Kraken seal at the bottom here, but it doesn't. Interesting. Um, I don't want either of those, because fuck that noise. But the White Council is the first leading on that DLC piece. The Song of the White Minotaur is leading on there. And I don't know what starts the Halls of the Goblin King, but I know that it relates to... Nope, where did that go? What was that? Was it you that I just put in accidentally? I know that it relates to Mr. Lionel. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to put him back in my goddamn deck, even though I don't want to. Um... That's an excellent point, Kisty. Do I have anything that helps me remove curses? Not really, huh? Or at least not in not in this not put in my deck part. Oracle. Inspect curses, inspect blessings. Yeah, but not remove them. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything to help me remove curses, unfortunately. Okay, oh well, that's fine. We have our full deck here. Let's do this fucking thing. Dealer, you're going down. New content awaits you. It will be awarded when you complete your run. Oh, never mind then. I guess that that is the token that will start our Mr. Lionel adventure. Not, in fact, the regular Mr. Lionel card. I appreciate your ingenuity. Attacks from the player's weapon do less damage. Fuck. 
Just immediately starting out by screwing me over. Not in the Ooh. way you think. Every third combat. They <gasps> what? Oh, that's they fucking amazing. Holy fall. shit. That is seriously the one of the best rings ever. Hate become part of our firmament. So who is the true creator? And of course, we're going to lose that blessing because we can't get any blessings. Son of a bitch. Also, I missed what he was saying. Soldiers on leave. Ooh, this is a token. This we token will unlock more. Oh man, we don't have any helmets. Counter. I can't, guys. I don't have. Oh, I think you have to give them two in order to get that token, if I remember that one correctly. The stranger in the shadows. Aha! The count enters the picture. Greetings, friend. I am in need of some sustenance. Yeah, we can give him a little bit of our blood. It's just ten, and he gives us ten gold. Perfect. Nah, we're good. Thank you kindly, sir. Ten gold is a pretty decent amount. The traveling healer. We can approach the shop and see just how fucking much money it is to remove this curse that uh, lets us not get any blessings. Or should I remove the one that... Oh. Player cannot receive any more blessings and the player 400 to remove the dealer's curse. Holy hot damn. Or we could just remove the player's weapon does less damage curse, which, you know, that's kind of nice to be able to get back full damage. And it's only 20 gold. We have 50. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? Okay, let's go back. You sell cheap food? You sell pretty... No, it's not I'm cheap sure food, is it? I'm sure you're grateful for that. Is that 18? I forget. I think that might actually be the cheapest. Yeah. Okay, fine. All right, so now that we are a little bit better supplied, we have a ring that's gonna give us a little bit better stuff. Um, we have our weapons now do regular damage again. And the Demon Trader, level two. Ah, oh, shit. You spent a restless night, yet you have no marks of the gods upon you. We need blessings in order for him to interact with us and we're never gonna get any blessings. So really, I should just take that card out. Remind me after this run through, if we don't win here, to remove that card from my deck, if you don't mind. Ooh, awesome, the sunken treasure. What do you do? You hear fishermen go gossiping about a trio of treasure laden ships recently trunk sunk by the Kraken. For only 15 gold, fuck! Oh man! <sighs> now I regret spending all that damn money. Son of a bitch! Okay, now we know what that does. We have to have 15 gold and we encounter that shit. Fuck. I'll bet that would have been so much money too. Or, or so many gains at least. Another curse on the table. Let us see how you deal with it. I didn't even see what that curse did. I was so distraught by not having $14. In, every, in combat, every dying enemy has a 40% chance to drop a bomb. And I'm not, I'm not upset about that. The hero's remains. We can take the hero's belongings and it will replace one of the cards in the future. Nah, I don't really? want to equip it. Is that what you're going to do? And no, I don't want to equip that shield. How far ahead is this card going to go? Little pleases me more than watching your attempt to Ooh. wriggle away from Pretty bad far ahead. Luck. Desert of the Damned. You find a casket buried in the sands. As you reach out for it, a voice calls out, Stranger, stay your hand. That casket bears the cursed serpent's mark. I'll try selling it. I don't think I tried selling it last time. I think I just opened it. Ooh, 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 ooh. A choice. Select your desire. I think it's number three. What do you guys think it is? Because I'm curious as to whether this dealer fucking cheats, which we know he does. But I'm pretty sure that I saw that card move to the third position. Does anybody else disagree? I need to know for, for research reasons. Kisty says there's the other one is in one. Awer says seven for some weird reason. Quit being weird, Awer. Scorch says 13. All right, fine. You guys say one. Nope. I was right, and all of you were wrong. Fuck. Oh, well, at least he gave me three coins for my trouble. Okay, fine. Whatever. There's a token in it for you if you win. 
Um, oh man, we need to give 30 or more food and I don't have near that much. Damn it. That's right. I forgot about that. Okay, so we'll return the hero's sword and his shield. Ah. Oh. Let's just want blessing. I made that a little too powerful. I will have to rebalance that next time. It's okay, dealer, because it doesn't stick to me. It bounces off me like fucking rubber. Oh, well, we can approach the shop and see what's here. We still haven't encountered any combats. I need three fucking combats in order to get new equipment. Like, that ring of rewarding has been absolutely worthless so far. Ring of survival. The life's limb. Ooh. That's also kind of nice. The ring of peace. Any, after any encounter in which the player did not enter combat, for every blessing they possess. Fuck. Ooh, the fleet cuffs. Nice. Yes, I will take the fleet cuffs because those are infinitely choice. useful. Thank you kindly. I have no idea why I listen to you guys. I should have just gone with my gut. But you know what? You guys have been right more often than I have. Ooh. Fuck me. <laughs> just immediately with the Kraken. And me with absolutely zero equipment. Oh, well, at least I don't do less damage. I mean, you know, I'm just at my normal health and normal strength. Ay, chihuahua. All right. We have beaten this Kraken many times over. Just never without any sort of advantage. So this is going to be entertaining to say the least. Dodge. Hee hee hee. All right, and so that's going to stab over there, making a nice little electric trap for me to avoid. I love these clean cuffs. They're so awesome. Ah! One, two, three, four. Awesome. Come to me, Kraken Head. Yeah, at least I'm slightly faster, so I can um, avoid the tentacue a little bit easier. As we kill this Kraken for the 15th fucking time. Yeah. Woo. Okay. Bring on wave two. And the uh, Jack. The Lizard Jack, I believe. One. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. Okay, he's gonna do his thing over there. That lets me kill his crony. I said that lets me kill his crony. Yeah, get in the electric trap, fucking lizard. Ah! Well, I can go ahead and at least start on that. Uh -huh. <laughs> Fuck. I totally forgot that they have the annoying habit of uh, blocking with their shields so that you can't hit them with your attacks. Oh, he's gonna, he dropped the bomb. That means he's dead. Awesome. Now I just have to deal with this jackass over here. Oh boy. Ugh. Oh, and it's gonna spawn. Wait, not another prince, just another regular lizard. Okay, so I guess the trick is to, ow. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Not having any sort of equipment or advantage in this really makes this encounter a lot harder than it should be. Cause I have no way to get back any health. Okay, the prince is dead. That's good. That's good news. Come on. Give me that tentacle. Give me that tentacle slam. Yeah. All right, so now that should be able to take him down and face me, Kraken. Kraken is a very delicious brand of rum. If you've never had it, I highly recommend it. It, it tastes almost like it's made of molasses. Uh, and, and it's very thick, I thought. It has that same deep, dark color of, like, Guinness. All right, baby. Third stage. Hello. Goodbye. Ow. 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 All right, stay away from the pink wave. Ah! It hurts so bad. Why does everything hurt so bad? Also, I'm pretty sure that the tentacle just did my job for me there. 
trying to kill. Oh no, this is going to end so poorly for everyone involved. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Oh lord. Got a couple of good hits in on her. Come on, baby. Go down. Go down, little queenie. Nobody likes you anyway. Ow! Fuck! I know I didn't vote for you. Come on. Come on, baby. Yes. 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 Double yes. Where's the tentacle? Ah! Fuck! Oh my god, I have two health left, guys. Guys, guys, I have two fucking health left. Alright, Kraken. Come here. Please let this be it. I don't remember if it's three or four stages, guys. I don't remember. Ah! Oh, sweet Jesus! Oh, sweet fucking lord! Oh my god! Oh! 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 Kraken is down. I repeat, the Kraken is down. Draw two, select one to keep. Um, I think double damage against rats or high tier attacks heal the wielder. I think healing is the way to go here. Yeah. And then one fucking food. Fine, fine, I don't care. <laughs> oh my sweet Jesus! And I also got the Kraken's mask! Oh my god, I'm so happy that I got the fucking mask, but seriously? Oh... That... Was so stressful, you guys. Catch the fairy onto the next leg of our adventure. Oh my god, I can't believe I just survived that. The deeper you go... And we can no longer sell anything. Death. Use the word so often. You run out of food and you die. You lose your health and you die. Yet, you're still here. It's true. We so we never really the true death, finally die. The final oblivion. I think we're about Only to at the end of this match. Of game where your piece begins again and moves across the table. This game, like all games, touches on that true death, however. For a life must be lost, and lost for all time. I love, I love his flavor text. Like, they're, they're my absolute dead favorite part of this game. The Desert Cult. In a forgotten temple, you stumble across, across a cult performing a summoning. The cult leader, standing before an ancient altar, demands a blood sacrifice. We refuse, and they attack me. The dealer draws two monster cards, and the cult turns his one to attack me. Fuck. Oh boy. Because we didn't have enough health uh, to remove the offering. Wow, that did nothing as far as restoring our health. And I got killed by an enemy drop bomb. Son of a bitch. After taking out the Kraken with two fucking health, my piece I get killed by some bullshit bomb. God damn it. God damn it. Again. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. The Goblin Halls DLC is ready. Goblin King's Halls. One. Excellent. Alright, so there's a couple of cards that we can definitely remove from our deck. And we can add uh, the new one in. So that's absolutely fine. Yeah, yeah, fucking, yeah, yeah, Go, I know, dealer. Leave. You're gonna fuck me no one last time, you aren't here. you? All right, so inside of the encounters, we're gonna add this one, and we're gonna take away the demon trader level two, because we'll never have a blessing on us. We can take away, oh, where was it? The noble, er, heroes something. Heroes remains. We can take that out, and we can remove Mr. Lionel. Excellent. Um, so let's add in Hmm, what to add in? What to add in? The Lizard Elder allows me to gain equipment. I think if I win an encounter, so I can go ahead and take that one, because that's actually kind of a good one. And... Lost in the Desert. And the Holy Forge is only good if you have the Metal Ore. 
Uh, the giant eagle takes you up to a whole new level. Dead Man's Gorge. Combat, gold, food, health, equipment, max health, and map reveal. Ooh, that's kind of nice. But the battle at Brooktop is also good, and it gives you a lot of equipment. So I think we're going to do that one. Excellent. Back we go. Okay. So I think our deck is pretty well dead set to take on the dealer. We don't have anything that'll really try and give us any blessings. I mean, I'm sure we have a couple in there that I've fucking forgotten about, but we'll remove them later. Dealer, your time is nigh. God damn Black it, we start out with the- Delivers again. Start out again Do with the fucking- the wheel turns God, again and quit talking. Turns us to the world in order After to any encounter. Fresh, all Ooh, that has nice. happened. Oh man, well. I do. Yet I cling still we can just sell that shit because we're never going to have any more things. And will not go willingly through the door. It immediately starts me with the enemies drop bombs when they die. Which is both awesome and terrible. No, we don't need to go here right now. I imagine down here is the end of the map. Yep. Which exposes everything else. Awesome. Step through. If you dare. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. <clears throat> We still don't need the jeweler, pass it by. But I kind of want to get over to the crucible. Dreams <sighs> and Fuck. mystery. Honestly, oh, I don't think this was worth the trouble. I really should have just gone on down to the next level. Because nothing over here is really worth the rewards and the hazards that we're gonna have to go through to fucking get there, god damn it, like that. Like all of that shit. All of that shit, totally not worth it. Oh, and that led me back around to the beginning. Son of a bitch! I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate these mazes so much. And now I'm on fucking fire! I've lost half my health to the th third card. God damn it. The Crucible. At least this one gets me good equipment. We will enter. The Crucible. Choose your opponents wisely. Uh, I don't think we're strong enough to take on two Lava Golems. We can take on... We can take on six Skulls. Six Skulls sounds pretty good. Oh, fuck. We have to choose two of them? Double fuck me. Thanks, Awer. I appreciate it. Yes, I am in fact terrible at traps. You called back 100% correctly. Oh, and she's got this stupid fucking ballast day. Oh, this is bad. This is incredibly bad. Oh, wait. I will say this. Having the enemies drop bombs may be incredibly useful here because, ow, fuck me. Uh, everyone's gonna get hit by them when they do. Ow. Damn it! So many enemies! I can't, I cannot, like, counter them all. So much stuff, you guys. Like that back into the bottle stay. Uh, ow, fuck, ow, double fuck. I think I might be screwed here, you guys. I think this might be an immediate fucked run. I'm like pretty sure that's what's gonna happen here. But I'm gonna fight this to the end, guys. We do not give up. Never surrender. Reflect. Ah! Oh, and I totally forgot that skeletons reanimate too. Like there are so many factors working against this in this fight. It's not even funny. Okay, there's a bomb. That will help. Uh. Wow, we've got the focus now. Oh god. We had the focus. We had the focus and then we died. And three health. It's only a matter of time now. Fuck. God damn it. Again with the death. 
I didn't even get to any new card. Another that time. of my servants fulfills his duty. Just super duper dead. Right off the bat. Oh well. It's fine. Again you face me. Look, last levels Again, are never supposed to be easy, okay? That's why I love this game. It 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 demands of you to get better. Until and now, well, I have shown compassion. Well, you would be best we just have to get better. No further. Right? Right? Right. True, Sasha. Super dead would not be able to play the game anymore. More than anything. Fuck. I hate that curse. It takes a very special I hate all the curses, but that one most of all. Door, Every third blow from undead enemies is reflected back on them. Mm. Now I'm attack. good. Yet you also need Lizard eater. Will to Ooh. Through the door. Oh, we lose that blessing enough immediately. Left to persist. You have nothing of interest for the elder lizard. Oh well, at least it's just a free card. Food wagon. Uh, call out and offer help. Food what? One food gain card. Yay! I will take out three food. And then, uh, do we tempt it? See what's over there? Nah. God damn it! I never put much stock on mysterious voices myself. All right, devilish traps. <sighs> Let's see how hard you can fuck me this time. Okay. We've got, oh, moving walls. And more swinging arm traps, ow. Why am I so terrible? Okay, now we're back in this style. Ah! Wow, that came down from the ceiling. All right, so there's the end. And we just have to not be terrible. And we made it. Yay. That's a little bit better than last time. <sighs> All right. No rewards for finishing that trap. Sunken treasure. Oh, we do have enough money to pay them too, so we can go back and do that. Yes, yes, we are going to go back and find out what the sunken treasure is. Should have gone with my damn gut and just gone there in the first place. Sunken treasure. Pay to go searching for treasure. The waters are teeming with fish and sea turtles as you search for loot. Oh, and difficulties increase too. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Dude, they shuffle like four times and fuck. Nothing, continue searching. Let's do it again. I have no clue. Fuck, we failed again. Quickly look around, I guess we, can we keep doing this until we get it right? All right. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep going. There we go, success. Awesome. Luck was with you this day. A passing mermaid takes an interest in you and stops to breathe air in your mouth. Then she is gone into the dark depths of the ocean. The fish and turtles seem indifferent to your contemplation. Interesting. So a mermaid gave me breath so that I could continue searching. Do I have to get two in a row? Head back to the surface. Maybe I have to get like three in a row. Huh. Weird. Maybe you do have to get like three in a row with, uh, and, and not like, or just three successes before you run out of air and start dying. Interesting, that's a weird card. I'm gonna have to play with that. Ah, uh, once, that once, one of my favorites. once that curse of being terrible at drawing at, at the shuffling cards is made not my there wager. anymore. I'll also make my deal. Okay. You have questions and I will provide answers. The traveling After tinker. All, that is why you came. We will come back to you, sir, because there's money to be had here. Mysterious parchment. 
Win this Ooh. and claim In a far-flung village, you stumble upon a small church to the old gods. Inside, you find a monk named Petward, who claims to be able to translate the parchment you found in the Dragon Slayer's tomb. 150 fucking gold. Right, I forgot about that. The Twisted Canyon. Ooh, nice, a weapon can be seen at the bottom here. Ah, uh, oh, oh, this is gonna hurt so bad. Choose from these options. You guys, I have no fucking clue. And there's a huge failure in there, and that could be really bad. I mean, like, huge failure probably is pain and not finding a weapon. What is it? Because I don't have a clue. I'm going to be guessing. Kisty says four. Dan says two. Awar says two. Nope. Kisty was right. It was four. Oh, lose five max health. Eh, uh, yeah. And lose five gold. Son of a bitch. Well, at least we get the weapon card out of it. Frostfang. Ooh. That's kind of nice. Yes, I will I'm replace sure it with Frostfang. Right to be fair, the only difference between success and failure is not drawing the uh, pain cards. So, you know, it's not really that bad. Oh, fuck. It's an ambush. It's a freaking ambush. Thankfully, we still have that, um... The frost fang. So we're slightly better off. Come here, children. Cone of cold. Oh, wow. That cone of cold is awesome. It doesn't do too much more damage than my regular sword. It doesn't do any more damage than my regular sword, which sucks. But, hey. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it with your stupid attacks. Nobody likes you. You didn't get invited to prom because you smell bad. You need some deodorant. Yeah. Hey, bandit! Chill. So, do we get any rewards for that, or do I just get to use the shop? Search the bodies, find nothing. Fuck. Okay. I guess we'll just see if he sells anything. We may end up coming back later because there's still another pile of gold up at the top. Mithril, the enormous shield. And it can knock enemies down, but it reduces my movement speed. A shield bash can kill regular skeletons and stun other targets. That's kind of nice. The bashing ring. Hmm. Nah, I'm okay. I think we might take the skeleton she king shield because that's kind of nice. Especially later on. Yeah, let's equip it. Go back. Sell, we can sell this armor. And we can sell, eh, well, I don't wanna sell that shield. Because we, we might like end up losing our fucking shield and you know. All right, baby. The White Council, part one. A challenge for you. I like the icon that it has. If you succeed. As dusk settles, you arrive at a small village known as Lesser Dimsgate. The locals are gathered at a shabby, look, shabby looking inn. Something must be done, shouts a voice raised in anger. They took all our golden food, one peasant wails. Will nobody stand up to them? I think we'll offer to help. They weren't that way not an hour ago. You easily catch up with the band of ruffians. They seem overly confident and are in no rush. As you, as you approach, the one who seems to be their leader notices you. Kill him, he commands, gesturing towards you. He looks like a troublemaker. The dealer draws two monster cards. Ooh. The ruffians are, in fact, the king of dust and his merry band. Thankfully, we have our shield and magic sword that lets us murder anything in our path. Come here, bitch. Oh, right, right. I forgot the king summons all of his meteors. Ah! Fuck, fuck, fuck! All these traps in the way, stop it! Yeah, I'm gonna have to kill that king. He is super duper annoying with doing that. Come here, babies. Just like that. Ow! Fuck! Fucking traps. Nice. Use that coat of cold on him. Ah! 
I've totally forgotten. He's got a buff that like makes his allies do more damage or higher attack speed or something like that. I forget. I forget what his aura does. Ooh, he's gonna bomb himself. Dumb ass motherfucker. Also, I'm getting killed more by the traps than I am by the fucking bandits. Oh God. This is like my least favorite map of all the maps. Come here, babies. All right, there's one bandit down. Yeah, fight me over here. It'll be a little bit easier for me to kill everybody if you're all over here. Fuck me. I need to take out that king. He is the most annoying thing on this map, other than the traps. And taking him out, we'll just let this whole thing go by easier. Bandits I can kill. King's just goddamn annoying. Wait, is he in fact rezzing everything? No, he's not. Okay, that would be a lot more alive if he was. Fuck! I have not noticed that I am down to 10 health. Wow, wow, we wow, wow. Oh my god. Nope, that kind of goal didn't help me at all. Ooh, now I kind of wish I had the fucking skeleton king sword. Ah. <sighs> I'm afraid that is where this round ends. Well, Some other time, perhaps. sadly, I was not able to unlock the next step in the White Council DLC. Have you learned nothing? No, I haven't. Because we're doing it again, goddammit. Story mode. The dealer. Go. Select. Leave. Start game. There is no joy for you here. You're right. There is only victory. Mana drain. I okay, that's that's I'm okay with that. That's not a bad evil. curse to start Ingenious. with. The Ring of Poverty. When the spring is sold, all the player's gold is lost, but their player receives plus one max health for every five gold lost as a result of this sale. So that's interesting. Very nice Wrath of the indeed. Old Gods. At the beginning of every battle, the Old Gods throw down the thunder upon one of your enemies. That's going to go away. God damn it. <clears throat> Noble Trader. He's not going to want anything that I have right now. The Devilish Traps call to us once again. Well, we, made, we did a little bit better last time. Let's see if we can hold ourselves. Bye, Emil. Have a good night. Wish me luck. Ah! I have a feeling that I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna need it so fucking bad. Oh, why, why? Why are you moving at different speeds? Why are you moving at different speeds? Your dicks, arms. Okay, wait for the fire to go away, and oh boy. Oh boy. Go away, fire. Thank you. <laughs> Give me an uber dick move if I was just stuck there with the fire. Ow! Fuck! My depth perception threw me off there. Ah! We made it! Yay! Macarena! Hi! Please don't be another devilish trap. God, I couldn't bear it if it was. Okay, we'll offer our blood. Since we have enough to do it this time. I'm sorry. Ow. And a blessing. Okay, that car needs to go Many the fuck away. Too good what was that card? The Desert Cult? That card is removed from the deck. Holy hot shit. Traveling Mage. Um. Let's pass it by for now. This should be the way out. Nope, never mind. The loan card. We do not, in fact, need to do the loan card. Okay. Since, well, one down from the start is apparently the way on. Let's approach the shop and see what he has. Ooh. 
There's our Hearn's antlers. We can go ahead and get those. Alchemical silver. Press two to attack faster with each successful strike. Now nah, we're good on that. Hags wraps. Eh. Mm. Yeah, I think we'll go with Hearn's antlers. We have enough to what buy it. Do with that? That'll work. We're good. We are good here. And with that, thankfully we're healed most of the way up now, and we can climb down the ladder to the next leg of our adventure. Having wasted a ton of fucking curse of the Kraken. I hope Ocean that's the and curse river that journeys your quest. are more dangerous. I wonder what the hell that means. As long as you play and persist, we will continue to draw closer to a resolution. Very few have come. Okay, the good news is we have Hearn's antlers. That was a good decision to buy. Now we can kill the lizard men much easier. And and I mean, you know, we've proven that killing the Kraken is not impossible here. But I guess we're about to find out what it means that uh, river and sea quests are more dangerous. Okay, it's gonna give us the, the electric trap right there. Awesome. That lizard's gonna have to walk straight through it. Ow. Fuck you, fuck you. I imagine that more dangerous just means that I take more damage. Come on, come on. Please just be one. God damn it. Ow. I can't even. That's gonna come down. All right, so we can take down one. Nice. Ow. And we can go ahead and take down the other because that killed the little other lizard. Thing. Awesome. Woo. Okay, that is in fact tougher because I think that like the enemies are harder and, and I may in fact do less damage. I don't have a good weapon right now. I don't have good armor. Uh, I'm taking more damage. So I think by more dangerous, it just means everything is, is cranked up to 11 for me. Like, this sucks. Even with Hearn's antlers and dealing double damage to fucking lizard people, it's not enough. Yep, he's gonna hit. Yep. Awesome. Okay, where's that tentacle gonna come down? Please, somewhere. At least out of the way, if not useful. Oh boy. Oh, the bow, the bow, the bow, the bow, the bow, the bow, the bow. I don't know what that was. I was trying to say, oh boy, and oh no, at the same time. Ah! I just said, oh, bow, 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 bow. Good, yes, yeah, stand in that electricity. Take more damage. You know what? Oh, fuck. I was hoping that the little lizard was dead so that I could just go ahead and kill the crack attention. Sadly, not. Oh, oh, I got lucky there. That tentacle didn't kill me. Oh man! And of course, now the tentacle fucking goes away, and it's gonna spawn more things. Good, just a little one. Oh, man. Good news is, I can take down the little. Oh, fuck. Uh, I can take down the little guys fairly quickly. Ooh, yeah, stand in that electric trap so I don't have to worry about you. That would be great. Reflect. Reflect. Two, three, four, five. Awesome. Stage two, down and done. Oh, boy. I have nine health and one stage left of this Kraken fight. Can we do it? Can we do it? I don't know, I'm really scared, you guys. I'm really scared because this queen is hot. Like, ridiculously difficult. Oh, fuck, and she got me. Okay, that's three deaths in a fucking row. God damn it. Oh. All right. Cold embrace. embrace of death. And the first stuttering, stuttering steps of new life. I hope you're pleased with yourself, dealer. You defeated me for three times in a row, and it's been about an hour, so I think uh, that means we're going to take a little short break. And when we come back, more Hand of Fate. I am not giving up.
We are not giving in. This dealer is going down. We'll be right back. <laughs> 